It was 8.46 a.m. on 9-11-2001 when the first plane struck the North Tower of the World Trade Center, marking the first blow of radical Islam's declaration of war on the United States. Most Americans cannot erase from our minds 3,000 innocent people. The most recent 9-11 was marked by renewed violence in Benghazi, Libya. Radical Islam is as active and determined as ever. Twelve years have passed since the beginning of this assault on the values of the Western world. And this is a good time to assess where we are, what we have learned from this low point in our history, who is responsible for this man-made disaster, and learn the reasons it was planned. And welcome to Stackelbeck on Terror. You know, every week on this show, we aim to bring you the truth, all of it, with no consideration over hurt feelings or political correctness. Now, I care what my family thinks, I care what my employer thinks, and most of all, I care what God thinks. But that's it. This is no time to mince words, folks. This is a time to be bold and to speak truth to power, to be watchmen and women on the wall. Time is short. Eric Stackelbeck, thank you so much for being with us today. I want to welcome you and introduce you as the author of The Brotherhood, America's Next Great Enemy, a best-selling book all across the country. You're also a CBN reporter, an expert on the Middle East, and the host of Stackelbeck on Terror. UCI appreciates you and everything you do as one of the best investigative reporters on the planet. At CBN, you present the truth at a time when the mainstream media ignores it. We're so proud to have you with us today. Oh, Esther, great to be with you. Thanks for much, so much for having me. You're welcome, and may we begin by introducing your new book. Sure, sure. I'd love to, Esther. Thanks so much for having me, and hello to everyone out there. And the book is called The Brotherhood, America's Next Great Enemy. And I really wrote this book because I was sick of this mainstream media narrative that the Muslim Brotherhood are the good guys, that they're moderate. The mainstream media is telling us that. The Obama administration is telling us that. And I wanted to set the record straight about this group and how dangerous they are, Esther. Basically, the Muslim Brotherhood is the granddaddy of them all when it comes to modern Islamic terrorist groups. They spawned al-Qaeda. They created Hamas. And I make the point in the book, Esther, it might shock some people, but I say, look, without the Muslim Brotherhood, if they were never created in Egypt way back in 1928, 9-11 would have never happened. I say that without hesitation. Every major player in the 9-11 attacks, from Osama bin Laden to Khalid Sheikh Mohammed to the 9-11 hijackers, before they formed, before they created al-Qaeda, they belonged to the Muslim Brotherhood. The Brotherhood is really the gateway drug to Islamic terrorism. And Esther, I make the point in the book that if there was a terrorist Mount Rushmore someplace in the deserts of Saudi Arabia, the founders of the Muslim Brotherhood, their images, images would be carved in it. So every American, if they want to understand this war on terror that we're involved in right now and why we see our embassy shut down, why we see suicide bombings, why we see all of this mayhem, they must first understand the Muslim Brotherhood. The Brotherhood is where it all started. Will you join the struggle to make the truth known? This series of video interviews along with key resources are available at democracyunderattack.com.